The game we're reviewing on the pod today is Friday the 13th. Developed from Illphonics Games, published from Gun Media. It was released May 26, 2017 for a whopping $39.99. Friday, Friday the 13th is a game, a third person horror survival game where players take on the role as a team counselor or for the first time ever, Jason. You and six other unlock, unlucky souls will do everything possible to escape and survive while the most well-known killer in the world tracks you down and brutally slaughters you. Uh, Friday the 13th, Monica, what were your expectations going into this game? So I feel like this genre of games, uh, which I don't even know what it's necessarily called, it's like a hide-and-seek type of um, game. Uh, really, I don't... I, it's like survival horror, I think, like, it, but with hide-and-seek, yeah. Yeah, it's like, okay, hide-and-seek survival horror. But, <laughs> yes. uh yeah, so I I had decently high expectations. I have seen people promoting this as of like a few months ago. I know it was a Kickstarter game, and yep. um, so it got a lot of hype uh, even back then. And so my expectation was that I was hoping that it would, you know, kind of beat out its competitors. It had a lot of backing. It had mm -hmm. a a really good platform to start off with um and it has just all that nostalgia wrapped up into it right and and yep. history so but my expectation was also that it was just going to be another dead realm or another dead by daylight that's yes. kind of where I was at. I was just like how is this going to really <laughs> deliver, you know? Yep. Um but I think that, that that's healthy, especially for how much uh, assistance it was going to get. Yeah, and I definitely, you know, this is pulling out a lot of the, the same strings that uh, Dead by Daylight is. Uh, my expectations for the game were kind of like, I never played Dead, uh, de what was it, Day Dead, Dead by Rome. Daylight? Oh. Dead Realm? I never played well, Dead, Dead Realm. Dead Realm or Dead by Daylight. Yeah, I, I never played either of those. The one game I did play that's kind of, I think, kind of started this genre or brought it to popularity was Evolve, to where it's basically like mm -hmm. a group of players against one other player who's a monster, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I was kind of excited going into it. Uh, like you, like the nostalgia, I was never a big Friday the 13th fan, but I definitely know the series. I've watched a few of the movies and like really enjoyed them. Uh, so to get ready for this game, like... I was watching a lot of streamers play this game. Um, I was watching a lot of uh, Sakisha, especially, uh, who we had on the pod a few episodes ago. He was playing. He's like a really great player. So I was like trying to get like tips before I went into this. I was getting pretty excited because <laughs> he makes the game look really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I know my brothers are big fans of the genre in general. So like mm -hmm. I was like ready to get into this game. Like this is my first entry into it. I'm gonna get fucking like I'm having so much fun. I'm gonna be Jason. I'm gonna rip some fucking heads off. And then I started playing the game. So let's start talking about the things you liked from Friday the 13th, Monica. Okay, so... Um, I think that, in at least in comparison to other games, the there is something to be enjoyed and admired with the different ways you can create death as Jason, or you can die as one of the teens. Um, they do, you know, a good job of, of different scenarios, different death scenes that are tr truly gruesome yep. and really cater to that horror <laughs> element. It's um, like Mortal Kombat fatality level shit. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that makes it fun, you know, that, that definitely creates a, a fun um, environment for this type of game. You want that. You know, you, you need the deaths to mean something. You need to really feel defeated or you need to, re if you're playing as as Jason, you need to f really feel like you've accomplished something. And I think that they did mm -hmm. a good job with that, um, which is a big element to these types of hide-and-seek, you know, horror survival games. So, yeah. Um, what about you? Uh, I think the big, the first thing is just the overall mood that they set in this game. Uh, and this is like top down, it's, it's, uh, it's covering a lot, like art, sound, uh, character design. Like the mood they set in this game 
is fantastic. The moment you load it up, you do feel like you're in a horror movie. Uh, this is a Kickstarter game, but I feel like a lot of times when you say that, you can kind of say, like, I when I hear a Kickstarter game, I don't think it's going to be well produced. I think it's going to almost be like bootstrapped. But then I I, picked, I loaded this game, and like everything is beautiful. The, the graphics in this game are top notch, the sounds top notch, and it really set you and put you into the mood of either being a concert or like scared for your fucking life that Jason's mm -hmm. about to like murder your ass. And also when you're playing as Jason, uh, that you are that character and that you are like all powerful. They did a really great job setting the overall mood and I think that kind of goes underappreciated in game development because it's not something you normally like think about. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Ilphonic here did a wonderful job uh, setting the mood. What's that else you liked? So I, I, I guess this is an easy one for me. I could probably <laughs> say this about most of the games within this genre, just as a heads up. But I feel legitimate fear when playing this. I feel legitimate oh. anxiety when playing it. I feel really? I get I get jump scares when confronted by Jason. Um, I don't think that the confrontations happen as often, but I almost think that that helps when it does occur because it's so shocking. Yeah. Um, some of the other games that I've played in this genre, you are in a smaller t space than some mm -hmm. of these maps that are presented. Um, and you're in a smaller space, and so you're much more likely to run into your pursuer. So you're almost always on edge. Yeah. In this game, I feel like there are periods of time where you almost feel safe, and then all yeah. of a sudden you're not. And so I, I liked the pacing of that. There definitely feels like there's breathing room. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know your friends are getting murdered, but you got time to accomplish your goals. Right. Uh, I guess the thing we should say here, too, is that, um, you know, there the main ways to, to win as the, the teen is to either... What is it? If you survive, or there's there's a couple other ways. I, I never accomplished any of them, but like you can, <laughs> I think you can call the police. Yeah. Um. You can. Um. You. You can. Can you drive away? I don't remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like some of the game mechanics. Um. Mm -hmm. Like call the police, like you said. Uh. There are one to two cars in every map, and with that. You, you both every car is broken down you have to go and fill the gas tank up with a gas canister or right. you got to put a car battery into the car and you got to find the keys to start the car right and then once all those three goals are met the car can get started off and then you got to drive and find your way to uh a, a exit to the map so to speak right and there's also uh, a boat which is pretty much the same as a car except it's like water based yeah so i guess i like the fact that because you're also task oriented in this game um, and not just trying to live until a timer runs out, um, that you can you, you get almost distracted by those tasks. Yeah. Um, there is a timer in the game, like it's a 20 minute window, but it feels so big and you're able to accomplish these goals um, that I I only knew about only the timer. One way to isn't that only one? That's only one of the ways you survive. Yeah. is just surviving yes. the night. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I only bring that up because like I didn't know about that until I was watching other people play the game because this game like clipped along at such a good pace that you never got to the twenty minute mark where that happened in all the games I played. Oh, I just tried hiding. <laughs> did, did you like hide in the tent and just get murdered? Um, I tried hiding in the outhouses. <laughs> um, in corners, just in tree oh, behind. Shit trees. out of luck. <laughs> yeah. uh, on the uh, we do a first thirty minutes thing on our YouTube channel, and at the very end of the first thirty minutes of the gameplay, I put it for this game. I'm playing as Jason, and I end with like grabbing someone out of like one of the tents and just smashing them into a tree. Like it's one oh of the best God. like game fatalities I've ever seen. Like it's just brutal. Yeah. Uh, Something else I really liked about this game, the characters in this game are just great. Uh, obviously, Jason is such a fantastic character. Uh, they go through all his, uh, or a couple of different iterations of Jason throughout all the movies. 
they're all really well done, really well thought out. Uh, all his different looks have different mechanics. So the developers did a really great time or a great job putting mechanics to a design from watching the movies. Uh, that's a hard thing to do, and I, I give them nothing but props for that. Also, the counselors, all the all the kids and like people at this camp, they are just fantastic character design. Uh, they're all kind of themed, and I think the '80s just like the the '80s genre that time period did a really mm-hmm. great job of like stereotyping and like filling in that stereotype. And the, this developer really pulled from that, and every character you can play as has its own distinct uh, personality. Uh, and they build those personalities into the stats Yo, of these characters, like how stealthy they are, how strong they are, uh, how much determination and like concentration they have. So that's probably the last big point is just character design uh, from artistically to game mechanics, really well thought out. And uh, I think it's some of the best I've seen in gaming just like as a whole, because everything's gotten to like build your own character where this game is really like, no, these are the characters that you're going to play. And I, I really appreciate, I appreciated that from a developer because I don't think I've played that in so long and had this much diversity. Similarly to you, I you know I've watched Friday the Thirteenth films. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a huge buff for them though. Shit, like shit, I'm shit. not you know w- watching them like <laughs> every night or being like, oh my god, you've never seen these films. You have it's to not watch part of your workout you routine. Or yeah, exactly. Um, however, I did feel that you know from what i remember from the 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 films and everything that this game does a good job of partaking in them and um and it, it kind of in a way i feel like it almost so from what i remember from the movies is that this guy just never fucking dies <laughs> and like in this game he can't well he can't, he can't die uh you can stun him with a weapon or with hitting him but you can't kill him there's a way to kill jason oh really yeah i i I was like just like researching articles there's a very long and convoluted process but it is possible if like everyone works together you can kill jason okay well i can't see everyone working together but i guess that that will go into my (laughs) negatives here but yeah like um so uh, in general though you I, I really liked the the uh, building up of his character. I thought that they yeah. did a good job of that and kind of, you know, almost explained the the funkiness that is like that eighties horror, that like nineties <laughs> horror where it just doesn't quite make sense, but you're still scared out of your mind, you know? Yeah. Yep. Uh yeah, I got nothing else to, like for the things I liked. It's just mood and uh character design. So let's move into some of the things that we kind of dislike about this game uh what's your first one here well um i i guess it would be that you know in order to get like the cars and everything you have to kind of search these maps in order to find the elements that you need and mm-hmm. in, in order to you know uh call the police or get cars running or get the boat running and it requires a lot of just searching yep. um which that in and of itself isn't bad but if you're working with other people um, you know, and maybe it was the people that I was working with, um, but I don't feel that the team, <laughs> you're really at the mercy of like who you're playing with. And unless you have, I guess, unless you have a big group of like your own personal friends that you get to, uh, play the game with, um, I feel like working with other people is very difficult. It is very difficult, and I think your level of enjoyment of this game is the group of people you get situated with. Mm-hmm. Because if you're not working together, this game is extremely tough. And or then, if you're that person that wants to play and not talk to anyone, you're really not helping anyone else out. Yes. So you almost have to socialize in the setting. And I will admit <laughs> that I don't. The first thing, I, it's not always the first thing I want to do is to talk to like a bunch of other people that I don't know. Uh, especially like kind of in the gaming culture, because there's a lot of right. uh, there's a lot of yep. stuff that'll get you muted. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think maybe because teamwork is this game is so dependent on teamwork for it to be fair. To me, my biggest dislike of this game, honestly, is that Jason as a character felt so wholly overpowered and so unbelievably hard 
to escape and to uh, deal with as a counselor. Mm. Uh, while I was playing this game, and I was streaming to some people, and they were talking to me, and I was talking about it, and they're like, yeah, but he's Jason. And I'm like, I, I, I get that. I get that he's Jason from the movies, and he's like, he gets abilities where he can just teleport clear across the map, uh, he can sense where everyone is and like just see That's you. That's what I didn't understand. Is that was was that more so to like explain how in the like I don't get it. How did Jason have powers like that? It's not that he had like powers like that, but the, I think they're interpreting what a movie version would look like in a game and how like horror movie like villains just kind of like oh they're behind you now they're just in front of you. Okay. Uh, it, that makes sense. And so they kind of like tried to tie that into some kind of game mechanic, which is cool, but there are a lot of problems that go into that because he can teleport wherever the hell he wants to, which means he can teleport into front of you and then instantly grab you and you're dead. You have no defense right. against it because you didn't see you didn't see it coming. And if Jason's are good enough, if you get high enough level, these people are good players. Mm -hmm. And they can abuse that system. So there's a lot of adjustments that need to be made on Jason's part, I think. Uh, and I think that ties into my like the screen scratches that go on, where it's like you're watching this through a VCR, and the mm -hmm. the game just scratches and you can't see anything and disorients you. What the fuck were you thinking, <laughs> dudes? Like how? Like just stop! I am not watching this as a movie. I am playing this as a game. Mm -hmm. And as a player, it just it did not feel good. Every time it happened, I just hated it. Once I even understood the mechanic and how to deal with it, I still didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So Jason being overpowered. Um, and you, there's so much that goes into him being overpowered. Like, there's so much. Like, they don't explain his abilities to you as a player. So, like, there's so much bad going on when you first start playing the game. That I guess it's a learning curve, but do you get over that curve before you stop enjoying the game? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you in that sense. I I feel like this game expects you to just be a fan of Jason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you uh, don't have that deep seated love, then <laughs> you are left, you know, kind of wondering what's so special. Yeah. What, what what what's happening here? That's yes. so special. Um. But you know, I am a fan of this genre as a whole. Um, I also, I don't know. So, some of the things that you are able to to stun Jason, but I swear to God, I I would hit him and nothing would happen, <laughs> and I would just die. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if that was just a, a lag issue on my end or if that was buggy. Um, there were other situations where I'm like, I swear I, I should have been okay. Or like, you know, Jason just seemed to like come through a wall. Yeah. Um, and I'd be running. So I wasn't sure if that really happened, but I, I'm going to go ahead and say that there are bugs happening here because, um, in my panic and screaming and I, I tend to shake shake the camera when I start panicking <laughs> and I have to regain composure. Um, it's hard for me to tell if bugs are actually happening or if it's me, but did you experience any bugs? Or like... um, I don't know. I don't like bugs uh, to a less extent. It's more so like what's going on isn't being communicated through animations correctly. Okay. Uh, that's how I felt. Uh, okay. And I will say I didn't understand this game until yes. until I played Kill as Jason, which mm -hmm. it's like it's a random selection. When you join a game, there's like eight people or whatever in the game, and then like one person's Jason. It's randomly selected, and I played this. I played six or seven rounds where I didn't understand anything until I played as Jason. Mm -hmm. um, and I do think it, it. I think the games are not on a server i think they're hosted by one of the players in the game and it just randomly selects that so there is a delay if on animations versus what's going on in the game mm -hmm. I, I can totally see where you felt like you're getting bugged out because i think i felt that way but i kind of understood what was going on under the hood more so mm -hmm. um than feeling like it was a complete bug and i, I I don't know. Like my next dislike of this game, I think would just I, I I couldn't help but fight the feeling like that. I was just bored while I played it. 
Um, either Jason like was right on top of me and I died like within the first three minutes of the game. And then I had to sit there for the remaining 17 minutes and watch other people uh, kind of walk and search through drawers and uh, complete these tasks. Or I was not getting chased by Jason and I ran around for 10 minutes and then like got into a boat and got away without ever seeing Jason. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how many rounds of this game I played where I just felt bored. And I was like, it's not that the game's bad. But why am I playing this game over other games that I enjoy and aren't as uh, slow paced and boring to me? And I think that might be just a genre thing and like a me thing. But uh, I just, you know, I, I know that happened to me where I just like playing it and I just kind of felt like once I started understanding the game and how to get away from Jason, how to deal with him, that the game was just kind of boring to me as a whole. I feel like uh, playing as the teenager feels like a job yes yes it feels like you are just completing a job to have the chance to play as jason yep and your likelihood to play as jason is pretty slim yep so i guess i would say that that is uh you know kind of a, 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 a was a pain to me um because you don't always want to be the bait and i totally understand why they wouldn't allow you to just say like i'm gonna play as jason because who in the world would want to always play yeah as a teen that's you know that's the the lucky you you get to be jason this round but i guess the the biggest thing for me is that this to me this is a game that you want to play with friends and you want to mm -hmm. have a bunch of friends to play with yeah um and you know i this is like a you you plan the night out you're like hey everyone we're gonna play friday the 13th on friday the 13th and <laughs> all of us are gonna play together and i can see it being a really fun game to play in that setting but just yeah. to like pick it up and play for five hours if you're not playing with other people that you don't know or if you're not like if you're a streamer and you're not playing with community or something yeah. like that i just I was I was left wanting. Very lonely. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, I, I, and like even after all that loneliness, and maybe it's because you are playing by yourself. Like even when I won the game as a consular and like, like I I, I didn't have a sense that I won anything. I had no sense <laughs> that like I just there you go got out. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, there wasn't this overwhelming sense of like achievement, and even when I played as Jason. And I, I killed, uh, you know, maybe like five out of the seven people who were playing mm -hmm. that game. I didn't feel like I won anything. It just, it felt very lackluster at the end. And I don't know what that is. It's like they're not building up to this big moment, this big conflict. It just kind of meanders and then you kill people. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to kill people as Jason. It's so easy. And I know when you get to higher levels, it's probably harder. It's more challenging and all that nonsense. But... You know, I'm talking about the first 10 to 15 levels, and I just, I had no problem beating people as Jason. I could find him. His mechanic where he can just see people moving uh, when they're making noise, he can kind of see little pings in the air. Uh, once I played that and I understood that, uh, I was pretty frustrated with this developer on how easy it was for Jason to be played. Right. Um, so I, I think should, if this game was just called Jason, it might, it might almost have been... Yeah, and guess what? In Evolve, you could queue up as just the monster, or you could keep queue up as to be with, like one of the four people uh, fighting him. So the people that really wanted to play the monster had the opportunity. And then if mm -hmm. you had like you know, if you'd like to solo as a uh, player beating the monster, you could do that, or you could do it, or you could have all four. Like there are choices to do that, and this game is just missing that. Uh, well, so, I, it sounds like I never played Evolve, but it also sounds like in Evolve. You know, you, you couldn't you fight? You, you fought, right? Yeah. You could shoot, you could kill, right? Yeah. So, so in yeah. this game, I so I made the mistake. I didn't realize that you were able to kill to kill Jason. Um, so it sounds like that is a, a capability here. But it's Do you want not me to explain the same that to you. Like what it just involves? Just based off of what, how the way you sound right now, no. Is, is it co super complicated? Just I'll tell you this. You can't do it by yourself. Okay. Um, so and you, you need can't to do it be if you're with your friends. Yeah, and you need a female character. If you have a male characters, if only males are left, you can't kill them at all. Okay. Like it takes so it's it's a pain in the butt. 
Ooh. So I guess I guess the thing is like is that does that even is that even a worthwhile mechanic? You know, no. um, in Evolve, it sounds like you can fight. In this game, you can stun, or you can just be like me and get killed trying yeah. to stun. <laughs> um, but I I just feel like something's lost there, and really, what you become is just a mouse running. You know, yeah. that's that's really what your your goal is, and and yeah, I, I feel like that does leave something to be desired. It does, and I, I will say other games this genre, um, you really did work together, and there were me game mechanics to force you to work together as a team. Where this, you could you could win the game by working by yourself, and if you got involved working with other people, that would probably get you killed mm -hmm. more often than not. So it was like the game was forcing you to betray, like some of the counselors and stuff. Uh, it's not, I don't know, that's just not fun for me. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts for you on Friday the 13th. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Where are you I going? am a thumbs down on this Ooh. one, unfortunately. I And I feel like I'm always a thumbs up too. Um, I'm a hesitant thumbs down. I do feel like there is a place and an enjoyment factor for people that love this genre. Um, yeah. I think it's a good addition to it. Um, but, you know, I... I I've played other games that I enjoyed just as much at a lower price point. Um, yep. They didn't have the Friday the 13th tag on them. And the Friday the 13th tag, that name, you know, Jason be, being in the game is not uh, a big enough booster to the game itself yep. to make me want to make that purchase. Yep. If you are a Friday the 13th fan, lover, you know, a buff then yes you will you want to get this game especially especially if you like that type of you know hide and seek gameplay so yeah. um but for me thumbs down unfortunately yeah uh, i feel like i'm the same way like a thumbs down um kind of i know i do this too often but like thumbs down with an asterisk maybe it's the genre i'm not into this type of game uh or genre as a whole like everything is so well produced and so well done that this game is definitely worth the money if you're into this type of genre. So for me, and I think we're kind of building up a, a, a repertoire, like people know what kind of games we're into. So if you're like me, you're not gonna like this type of game. But if you're into like Dead by Daylight, um, if you're really into like, I guess Dead Realm is what you're saying. If you're into the hide and seek, just like you, go ahead and pick this game up for yourselves. Uh, but for me, I'm gonna have to do thumbs down. Uh, that's, that's the first double thumbs down review we've gotten in a while, Monica. I know. So I know. Friday, Friday the 13th, developed by Ilphonic, published by Gun Media. You can find it on Steam for $39.99. Uh, that's two thumbs down from the Backspace Nomads. We're sorry, dudes. Uh, that's gonna do it for episode 19 of the Backspace Nomads. You can find us on Twitter at Backspace Nomads. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.